Hello and welcome. This is Master on BF of TechOnu.net. In this video, we are going to show you how to escape when your both wrists are held from your opponent. We originally filmed how to escape using the throwing technique as you're seeing right now. However, we decided to put a couple more techniques into this video. If we put a title such as a women's self-defense technique, that throwing technique might not be applicable for the most of the women. So we are going to show you a couple more techniques according to the degree of difficulty, from easy to difficult. Before I show you the technique, the one thing I'd like to say, the situation such as when your both wrist are held from your opponent, you can simply ignore the one of the side according to your dominant hand. Let's say if you are the right hander, you can simply ignore your left side, vice versa. You don't have to be intimidated because your both hands are held. Alright then, let's take a look at it one by one. Alright, the first technique that we are going to take a look at it is this. Remember the basic movements in Taekwondo, Hechomaki. Hechomaki, you can simply use the techniques. Push your hands up and bring your both hands towards you. Push your opponent both thumbs like this. Before you apply this technique, just tap it, push the bottom a little bit. You will bring your hands up, right? Tap it. One and two motion, right? Hold tight. Next technique we are going to take a look at it, you are going to exactly opposite side we did it earlier, right? Instead of bringing both hands up, you are going to bring your hands down and make a circular movement to escape, right? Uh, like I said earlier, you can just imagine held by one hand, one and two, right? In case if your opponent is too strong, you can use your kicks since your opponent both hands is not available. One, four, two. Next technique is this. From here, I want you to cross your hand and make open like this. And I want you to step aside and break your opponent wrist doing this. I want you to remember, let's say if you held by one hand, if you try to escape by bringing your hand straight up, it's much difficult to compare to making a circle to bring it up. You can use this principle in this technique. Open, make a circle, and push to escape. All right, final technique is using throwing technique. I want you to escape by twist your wrist between your partner, thumbs and rest of fingers. While you do that, I want you to cross and grab your opponent's opposite hand and throw. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope lesson was informative and I will see you guys next time.